Hello my dear students, my name is Pranjali Divakar Pagare. I am assistant professor in accounting and finance department. Today we will learn foreign exchange markets concepts in international finance subject. Introduction to forex market. What, what is forex? Forex is the short form of foreign exchange. But do you know about foreign exchange market? Foreign exchange market is the most largest and liquid financial market in the world. It is the market where foreign currencies are bought and sold. When two currencies exchange huge amounts, they move the price because demand for that currency which they need increases. When demand increases, price also increases. So that with all this exchange is going on around the world, the exchange rate constantly move. When currencies are exchanged, they have a certain price. The price of a currency is determined by the law of supply and demand. For example, a company buys goods from another country. In order to buy them, they need to obtain the local currency first. So they will exchange the amounts. As they exchange the currency, they will move the price because the demand for the currency will increase. It is profitable that holding your money in other currency. But how? The exchange rate change this is essentially how we trade in the forex market. By way of a certain amount of a currency hold on to it, uh, the exchange rate moves then change it back making money along the way. There is an easier way to trade currency through online exchange. Offices called brokers. We can exchange currency online throughout of the day and take advantage of the constantly fluctuating exchange rates. So this is called online exchange uh, uh, online exchange trading. We can trade forex from home or anywhere if we have internet connection. The forex market never sleeps. It is open for 24 hours a day, 5 days a week, so it can suit to our daily routine. You do not have huge huge budget to get started as little rupees enough to begin trading and to build the capital. So uh, we are going to uh, learn need of foreign exchange market so the first point is protection of currency to accumulate the reserves government protects the currency's trade with the help of foreign exchange market it affects the value of currency and it is easy to do payments if economy changes then central bank can ensure the reserves are enough to face the situation then second point is job opportunity with the help of foreign exchange uh, the in, uh, increased use of internet online for each exchange has become the prominent feature in the foreign exchange market. Many people are living by trading currencies online on a daily basis which in turn increases job opportunity. The third point is hedging facilitator. Forex is a hedging facilitator. Hedging means reducing the risk. Here hedging means protecting the business from risk. It provides business owners with the mechanism that guard them against anchoring losses, sorry, incurring losses in the event that value of currencies they trade in fluctuate. Facilitates international trade. The need for acquiring currency to trade arise when the business deal with other country. Investors transfer of purchasing is facilitated by foreign exchange among the countries by acquiring capital purchasing power can be enhanced. There are many points such as facilitates international trade. As we know, foreign exchange is global exchange. It is a global trade. So, uh, it is uh, there is no limit for foreign exchange market. Okay. Uh, then next point is currency liquidity. As we know, currency means cash is a liquid asset. The liquid asset uh, we can convert it anytime. So, there is a currency liquidity in foreign exchange market. Next we will learn functions of foreign exchange market. The first point is transfer of purchasing power. Forex allows transferring of purchasing power or conversion of one currency to another currency in the market to complete the business between two countries. Transfer of purchasing power can be done through telegraphic transfer, bank drafts, foreign bills etc. Then second point is use of technology. Forex allows transferring of purchasing power or conversion of one currency to another currency in the market to complete the business between two countries. Transfer of purchasing power can be done through telegraphic transfer, bank drafts, foreign, foreign bills, etc. 
Then third point is minimizing foreign exchange risk. Foreign exchange market minimizes the risk of trade for a transaction are done through the payment and received foreign currency exchange. But there is a fluctuation in foreign exchange rate, so sometimes there will be gain or loss due to fluctuations under this condition. Forex takes place the risk of use differences in exchange rates. Then we will go on continuous trading. As we know, foreign exchange market is operated for 24 hours, 24 hours in a day and 5 days in a week. So forex market help currency trading continuously through the day and night excluding weekends all the major banks that deals in offices across the world. Then we will go on types of foreign exchange market. The first one is spot market. Spot market is very important in foreign exchange market. The spot market or cash market is a public financial market in which financial instruments or commodities are traded for immediate delivery. So it is on the spot market. That's why it is called as spot market. It contrasts with a future market in which delivery is due at a later date. In this settlement happens in T plus 2 days. That is delivery of cash and commodity must be done after 2 working days of the trade date. Then the second market is forward market. The forward market is in form over the counter financial market by which contracts for future delivery are entered into. Standardized forward contracts are called future contracts and are traded on a future exchange. Contracts entered in the forward market are uh, binding on the range of instruments including currencies and interest rate as well as assets such as commodities and securities. It deals with sale and purchase of transactions at some future date normally after 90 days of the deal. Then the most important point is participants of foreign exchange market. So students there are some participants which are included in foreign exchange market. So the first one is retailers. As we know retailers are the small investors so uh, they, uh, they invest in the foreign exchange market but not directly. They participate in the foreign exchange market indirectly. So they take help from commercial banks. So dear students, I hope uh, I hope you understand about the types, introduction, need and functions of foreign exchange market. So here uh, we are uh, stopping today. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you so much.